お待たせしました。But I am back with the NVIDIA。エロフォー、この番組では、YouTube、ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしました。お楽しみに。Hello everyone! もう一度は、I'm e d o f o r and I'm back at it again with another video. This is not only the fifth video about a Japanese group or artist, not only my 55th video, but this is also my first Japanese group of all time, Shonen Knife. Like always, I go through the beginning and current motion of the artist and group while speaking Japanese for this topic with the English. And Japanese subtitle. So let's start off with our first chapter. Gambarimas! To start off, this group is straight out of Osaka, Japan, with the leader Nanoko Yamamano, born on the 18th of December in 1960, or Imoto chan Atsuko Yamamo. Born in 1964 of February the 22nd. Lastly, the Tomodachi Michi Nakatanani, born on 1961 on October the 8th. How they formed was in the house of Nanako and Atsuko in the early 1980s, along with Michi. Michi and Nanako have already known each other from working in the office of Tiger Vacuum Company. After graduations and possibly being friends for a very long time. Please comment down below if they've actually been childhood friends for a long period of time. Their inspirations w a s a lot of British bands from the decade before, such as the Ramones, Who, and etc. This is because a lot of their songs are in English and they have also used the dictionary to help them to not only understand the words. But also use them in the correct way during interviews and their song lyrics. Shonen boy h a v e very cute feelings,、uh, and knife h a v e very keen or strange feelings. So cute and keen combined together. Finally, this is how they ended up with their band name being called Shonen Knife of December of 1981. And this is now where we move on to the second chapter of their debut story. Their first gig started on March the 14th of 1982 in Osaka Studio One with 36 audience members of their first CD called Mina Tanasuku. And it means Everybody's Happy, later released on August the 15th. Nakano plays and sings the lead guitar, Mishé plays keyboard, and Atsuko plays drums. Their song lyrics consist of food, drinks, and other random things that they find that is interesting from the world. In the next year, their second album that got released in American stores from K and Zero Records called Burning Farm on July the 21st of, of 1983. And received four stars in all music while being re released two years later. Further on, all music have charted all their albums from their, this point forward for Boys Knife. And the most important thing about this album is that it's been favorited by a special band ten years later. Their third album called Yama no Aichan. Which is the Mountain of Love Chan, released on May the 25th of 1984, while receiving five and a half stars and another album re released two years later, too. Fourth album in store is called Pretty Little Baka Guy, sold on the 20th of June in 1985. That Pretty Little Stupid Guy earned another five and a half stars. While re releasing again in 1991. Speaking of 30 years of 1991, their sixth album called 712, and here it is in Japanese, Nanahaku Juni, released on the charts 
of July the 1st in that year, while receiving second, third, and fifth and a half stars on American charts. And this was their last album released independently, because in the next chapter is where we move to our American and international debut. To start off the year of 1991, they went on a European tour with Sonic Youth's sixth album, Goo, and Nirvana with their sophomore album, Nevermind, along with Shonen Knife compilation of 712 and their first compilation album called Shonen Knife. Nirvana really took a liking to them during this tour to invite them to their dressing room and gave them gift, food, and advice, especially since both of them respected each other equally and related to each other on a global scale as well. As Kurt Cobain said in the interview in the Knife's hometown, Osaka, Japan, in 1992, February the 14th for the BBC show Rapido, about five years ago, um, when you guys put out the Burning Farm EP on the cassette, mm-hmm. well, Calvin, my friend Calvin from Olympia, he he sold me that tape. I bought that tape from him because he works at K Records, mm-hmm. and I heard it and I fell in love with it. As years go by, they continued to support each other with two more albums from SK before Kurt's unexpected passing of 1994. Their seventh album, Lex Knife, released on August 26th of 1992 in Japan and America on MCA Record, while it received number 64 on the Ocon chart, it was four and a half stars in all music. Eighth album, Rock Animals, came out the next year of 93 in the 8th of September on MCA and Virgin Records won 59th place in Japan, and two out of five stars from America. But then... Hey, they have shown their knife series here. This is a Japanese version of our new album, Brand New Knife. Brand New Knife came out on the scene of April 15th in 1997 on Big Deal Records. This was the ninth album while also coming back on tour in America. Lastly, their 10th album, Happy Hour, on June the 23rd of 1998, received the album of the year of 50 to 100, 2 out of 5, and 6 out of 10 stars. This was the last album that included Miss Shea because Miss Shea had trouble with her appendix and she felt it was time for her to leave. Even though Nako and Asuko pleaded for her not to leave. Mache was just very dedicated to live another lifestyle. So eventually and reluctantly, they let Mache go. So now we move on to the chapter of the new gen of Shonen Knife of the 2000s. The new millennium starts off with the strawberry sound released on February the 19th of 2000, with a new member of a drummer named Mana Nishuhura, born in October 11th of 1971 in Hiroshima, Japan, while the album cover was done by Rodney Greenblatt that previously worked on Parappa the Rapper, Puffy, and etc. Their 11th record was released on Universal Victor record and put on two to three out of five stars in the US chart. The the twelfth album Heavy Songs released on the twenty third of May in two thousand two in Japan. Their thirteenth album Candy Rock is released the next year, May the twenty second of two thousand three. This was not only the album that had the lowest of two and a half stars not released in America, but also this was the last album they have with Mana. 
because two years later, she died in a car accident in New Jersey with another band she was with called DMBQ. The other members have survived, but unfortunately, she has not. She was with other bands such as Jesus Fever, Team, and many others. May her spirits rest forever. The new members that they found over time is Etsuko Nakashi, Emi Morimoto, Ritsuko Tanda, Naru Izuka, and Riza Kawano. To start off the 13th album, Genki Shock, Shock to 11th of April in 2006 in America and Japan, and required a four star rating for their comeback. 14th album, Fun Fun Fun, released the next year of 6th of July in 2007. Supergroup came on November the 17th of 2008 for their 15th album and five and a half stars from Neo Magazine. 16th album Free Time released on January of 2010. The Osaka Ramones, their 17th record released on the 9th of July in 2011. Their 18th album Pop Tune popped on 2012 of June the 6th. And the last album for this chapter is called Overdrive, their 19th album released on the 14th of 2014 and have 6 and 7 out of 10 stars. And now we move on to the third to last chapter of Shonen Knife. There's two more albums released right before we get into the ending, which are Adventures and Sweet Candy Power. The adventure starts on the 25th of March 2016 and Sweet Power Candy released on June the 5th of 2019. Today they're still touring for the 30th anniversary of 712 with all original members while starting a family and living back to their regular lifestyle. And now we move on to how did they influence me? Like I said before, when you look at them, you're not expecting them to be cute and surprising, but their DIY style, do it yourself, proves everyone's expectations wrong. Just like last time, I, along with the viewers, I've learned something new that I've never really learned before. And now once again, I'm going to be speaking in Japanese again. Hajime Masho? Nisei ni san ni kara nisei ni go omeikan jin desu. Oboite ru sirio no naka ni CD haite ru bae. Cartoon Network Mystery desu. Watashi wa nanasai desu. Kono bangui wa Cartoon Network no tojo jinbun tachi ga nazo no Hinto no Toki Daga Karaji E E E N E K A N D Nato to Nato des Uta wa OST ga Powerpuff Girls promotion video no Nihondo Bando Shonen Knife Uta de Buttercup I'm a Supergirl Watashi wa I no uta wa wonder wine. Rock and roller kawaii subashi bento takara tanjon ne. Soshite mitsuketa uta wa ni senju. Benkyo shitai shonen naifu wa jusan sai desu. Ginji te te wa shonen naifu no hajimete nihon gupu. Mitai Sekano Toki. Demo 
わかんないみたいグループは、すべめて、ユーチューブ70、ジュ、ミーの5、フォーダー、フォーダー5、19位、ゾーンの19、最後に、パフィー、わたしに、に、バンド、見つけた。もう一度、少年ナイフ、一番で、二、三、三、四、そして、今日、八、月、十五、一、二、少年ナイフ、ヒットは、英語で、on August the 15th, I declare 少年ナイフ day. 英語で、話します。I'm happy that every member from the group was represent to make their own style of rock and roll. And like the groups and artists I talked about last time, they have come a long way to still be here to this day. And now we move on to the last chapter. Dozo. All right, so now the shout outs for today g o e s to. Rick Habana, Juna Napapat, Sir Edwards, Neg Channel, Nitro Plug, We Batch, GWI, American Spy Fox, and lastly, Shonen Knife. Thank you guys for always watching my videos, especially since this is my 55th video with the fifth report of Japanese artists and group. More is coming soon, and please remember to subscribe, share, and comment on my videos for more ideas and questions. The next group I will cover along with the making of the second episode of Talking Fun with Edo Podcasts. Is the Taiwanese group SHE. See you next time. Sayonara. Bye, s h a r o n a Sayonara. But I'll see you all next time. Watching my videos, especially this week. Ah, Nakano, please. Eighth out, 16th album, free time, release in. Moichido, Shonen Knife, Ichiban De, Nihon Deshite Kyo. Oh, wait. So, Shonen, Burger on All Star of me. Just like, just like last time, oh, because m i c h e l l e has trouble with her appendix. 16th album, free time, released in January 2010. Of, oh my god.
guard. A boy kid is the. A boy kid is the three little stupid guy. Can uh, Michelle was dedicated to live to live another night. I know Uta wa rock. Watashi wa. Speaking of 30 years of 19. With all original members while starting a family. Hmm. So she Misuke. Finally, this is how they ended up with the band name called Shonen Night. Hmm. Thank you guys for always watching. Oh wait.